Hey! Hi! <laughs> it's always a delay from when I see I'm going live. Welcome to our 30 Drawings in 30 Days Daily Drawing Challenge. I hope you've accepted the challenge. I hope you have your paper and your pencil ready. And hey, draw in 3D with me, Mark Kistler here on the Mark Kistler uh, Live Webcast and YouTube channel. Well, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm ready to get going. Let's get my cameras all set up here. And I'm look at us. I'm getting better at this. I'm not gonna. I shouldn't say that. Then I'll I'll, I'll jinx it. Let me put this uh, drawing. We're gonna get all ready to go. All right. I have the text box open. So if you want to send me a note, I want to thank everybody that's giving me all these great comments. Thank you so much for joining me and drawing with me. This is so cool. Um, we're gonna draw the school of fish today. All right. We're gonna draw the school of fish right here and we're going to use a very very important uh, renaissance word several of them but the most important one here is going to be um, overlapping the near fish will look closer to you and they'll move deeper in, into the background as they move away now this is a definitely a salute to mc escher one of my hero artists of all time um you know i just i've always just loved mc escher's work and so if you have a chance to uh, look up and some, excuse me, you can uh, Google search this, um, him too, M.C. Escher. That's his name right there. And I want you guys to, to, to search him and look for these wonderful, wonderful um, uh, etchings that he made. Very, very famous, very, very uh, skilled artist, great um, illustrator for you guys to study. All right, well, let's draw. This is a... A, will be a cool group of fishies. We're going to start using these Renaissance words. There's 12 of them now. All right. Let's draw the near fish right here. I'm just going to block it. I don't know if that'll be the near one. Actually, I'm going to just draw a group of them. I'm going to scribble them. I'm going to shape them. I'm going to shape and I'm going to form these. And we'll just see, see which one com comes out here. So I'm not sure which one's going to be close. Let's scribble a sketch. This is the first idea is forming and shaping. You shape it. And then I think I'll put... I think I'm going to put another one like right over here. Your eye loves an odd. We'll do, do a school of fish. A school of maybe three, maybe five. Maybe we'll do five fish. You want to do five fish? One, two, three. Well, you can. You can put another one back here, like a whole group of them. Look what I did on this one. See, on this one, I had like a million going back. This reminds me of that movie. Remember in uh, uh, Nemo, uh, where the school of fish, they were talking with the... Uh, um, uh, marlin and oh my goodness the blue fish dory right here let's put another fish right here I'm, now your eye likes an odd number so we ha we're gonna have one two three four five there's a good odd number right here you could add more if you want let's just start with with this little group right here i ah, just my eye i just you know what my eye is wanting to put a fish down here too isn't that fun look at this we'll just have a group of school of fish one two three one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put an odd number. I'll put one more. I'm going to put one more up here. A little smaller. All right, so that'll be great. All right, now send me a text if you have your fishies all. Oh, Dory. Well, thank you, Kyla, for giving me the name of the fish. I sure appreciate that because I forgot. So thank you for the text. All right, good to have you. Look at this big group we have in, in our uh, live classroom today. I'm so glad you guys are joining us. Now. Uh, which fish do you want to be first? And they'll, they'll move back into the background here. I think what I'm going to do, I think I want to put, uh, I want to put, which one do I want to have? I'm going to have this one be the closest one. All right, so I'm going to draw the fishy's eyes. This is placement. This is size. Near one's going to be closer, so we'll draw the near eye. And the back eye, I'm going to overlap, tuck it back behind here. There's those Renaissance words, okay? There's 12 of these Renaissance words. And if you use these words, you can create anything in 3D on your paper, okay? Now, let's clean up this near one. This is overlapping. We know, I, I just decided this near one, this one right here is going to be the closest one. So, I'm going to clean it up. I'll use my handy-dandy dusting brush. You can get this for like three bucks at an art store. We're going to be using our blending stomps in just a second. I... I like the click erasers, but there's all kinds of erasers you can get. You get the, the uh, crumbly erasers, you can get the kneaded erasers. There's all kinds of erasers. This is just a handy one that I carry with me when I visit schools, when I do school assemblies around the country. I go to elementary schools and homeschool groups and do live workshops. And so I have to have a little kit 
and this is my kit right here see and I have all my erasers and my pencils in here see I carry my micron I I suggest you <coughs> excuse me I suggest you get your kit too I love my pans and my pencils and I carry my erasers and my brush it's really really cool get yourself a little art kit with a sketch bag a sketchbook and then put it all into a like an art grab bag so you're always ready to draw always ready if you have to go and and do an errand and you have to wait somewhere you can always pick out your drawing all right so let's draw the near draw the near fin here because you have to be ready to draw one drawing a day right you know what's fun with this YouTube live channel you know what's so fun is that you can you could draw with me on your smartphones I, I could believe it it was so fun this technology still entertains me to no end I just just it's just a uh, science fiction to me because when I was growing up, we didn't have all this technology. So this is very, very exciting. Now, back here, look at it. This is the near. This is the pectoral fin on the side. The sides. Let's draw this other back fin. This fin's closer. This one's smaller, moving away. That size. Things get smaller as they move away. And there we have our first fish. See? This is kind of, I'm trying to find the closest, that this one is the closest in this picture. See, the front near friend, and then we move deeper over, underlapping, under, 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 under as we move away. But this is how I did that picture. I scribbled them in first. I shaped and I, and I uh, formed it. Let's see how we'd see these dorsal fins. I love these dorsal fins. So let's put, put a little fishy dorsal fin here. And then, now for the tail, watch this. I'm going to have this come down. I'm gonna have this come down and I'm gonna put a little tail. Maybe maybe it won't be so little. I'll put some wrinkles here. Do you like that tail? Does that what do you think? Send me a text. What do you guys think of this one? That look alright? If you don't like it, you can erase it and change it. I like it. I'm gonna clean it up. Now look at here's the contour lines. Remember those contour lines to give your drawing shape and volume? Those lines. See these wrinkles right here? These wrinkles all fit inside to give it shape now this is the book I was I don't know if you remember me showing you this before my you can draw in 30 days book where we're using these these words we're using uh, contour lines and foreshortening um, let me show you like look at the contour lines on this tree lesson you see how those those curved lines give that tree trunk shape contour lines are great and wrinkles help give your drawing the uh, that visual effect right look at the the curving lines look at the wave now see I'm talking about these curving lines here and like under the eye and down here behind the fin look at the how the contour lines give the wave shape and volume this is in the lesson in my you can draw on 30 days book of course I'm gonna recommend that you all get 10 copies of that book right <laughs> That's my book plug. <laughs> I gotta plug my book. <laughs> I have, oh, I should plug all my books. Oh, look, uh, look at holiday season, gift giving. Hmm, there's my little advertising. Thank you for letting me advertise my books. Thank you for your support and getting my books. I love teaching drawing. And that's how I, that's how I do it, is you guys support me in my dream. I appreciate you buying my books. Here, let's put that, see that little reflection in the eye right there? Let's put, do that. I'm going to put another one. Now, I had an email question from a homeschool parent asking about that uh, art, Monday's art day with Mark, with me. On Mondays, I webcast live for homeschool groups and classrooms um, all over the world. It's at Mark Kistler Live. And what we do is from uh, 10 to 11 I, I teach live for the for a full hour for the young youngins from 8 and under then 9 and up I teach a little more advanced for intermediate and advanced 11 15 to 12 15 let's put the shade in under here and that's my uh, homeschool membership and classroom membership that's $49 it's half off right now so <clears throat> excuse me if you guys want to draw full hour with me on Mondays and build it into part of your curriculum I would be delighted to have you as my students join right now I, I have about uh, 1300 1300 students around the world just about every time zone that's my Monday's art with mark live at Marcus alive.com put a shadow back here all right now what we're doing is there's shade the lights coming from up here and coming down okay now if you are interested in the uh, homeschool and classroom uh, membership 
take advantage of that $49 price. That's re it's really, really great, great value. And I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. All you students out there who are members, thank you so much. For Some of you have been students of mine for over three years now that I've been webcasting live on Mondays. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just love it. I love drawing live. Now, here we go. All right, so there's the near fish. Isn't that fun? I love it. You can put t uh, uh, scales on it. You can put little fit, uh, little uh, mouth, fangs, whatever you want. Now, let's look back at our source, our, our idea source here. We're going to draw a few more overlapping in the back. So I'll pick a, the next one. I think uh, I'll, I'll make this one the next one here. I'll make this one. And you guys, I'm not going to finish this whole picture. I'm just going to do enough to get us going through like uh, about... 15 minutes and then I want you to finish it when you have time okay you can add more drawing you can add more fish add more detail very very cool oh oh hey thank you Daryl Daryl just said great book and Arthur just said awesome that's so cool thanks Arthur antiques said nice awesome love it love it love it um, hey does anybody anybody out there would you guys like to get a free uh, artist trading card you know, these are my posters. These are the big autograph posters you can get. I also have my artist trading cards. I love these. I want to send one free one to every family. If you send me a self-addressed damned envelope, I'll uh, autograph this. I'll put it into the self-addressed damned envelope. Now, there is a string attached. There is a string attached. If you want to get one of my free artist uh, trading cards, I want you to send me one of one of your drawings. I, I really, really want one of your drawings. Okay, is that a deal? Send me a text if you think that's fair. A self address stamped envelope and one of your drawings could be an original drawing, could be original lesson drawing based on my lesson. And the way you get it, go to the address. The address to send it to is at markkisslerlive.com or you can go to markkissler.com, either one. Okay. The address is right there on the YouTube screen too, right? Markkisslerlive.com. I'm going to blend the shading here. Send me a self address stand up. Oh, I'm going to see it back to you. I have to figure out where that tail is. See, let's put that little. See, you're going to see a little corner here. See, and it's going to peek out from back there. See, so you have to sketch it. Then we'll erase this, right? Erase this so you can see it's in front. Isn't that wonderful. Let's use our stompy. Oh, this is a great spot in between. See these in between here? Put a little shadow right in here. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to blend it. All right. Uh, MarcusAlive.com. Click the contact tab. Contact. And it tells you how to do it. And hey, if you want to start a whole collection and get a whole bunch of these artist cards, I would love you to order some more. It tells you how to do it right there. And thank you for your support, for supporting me and my mission to get 1 million subscribers on YouTube drawing in 3D with me 30 days a drawing a day for 30 days a drawing a day for 30 days <coughs> love it love it love it I have about one minute left so let's uh, pick our next fish I want to do this one down here draw the near eye overlapping tuck that back behind here coming around this one's cool see this is overlapping of uh, closer smaller further away if I go too fast, watch the recording. I'll post this in just a couple minutes, and you can go back and watch it. Draw the pupil. Get that reflection. I love this repetition. Your eye loves a repeated pattern over and over again. That's why those uh, tangled uh, coloring books are so popular, because those uh, patterns are so wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please, please, please subscribe. Remember, I'm trying to reach my goal of a million subscribers. And uh, hope you can subscribe hey, and share this with your friends too. Okay, get your friends drawing with me. I want to get the whole world drawing in 3D, drawing little fishies, little happy fish. 3D with me, wee! I uh, love it. Some of you send me a text if you remember drawing with me when you were a kid, and uh, on the Secret City or the Imagination Station public television series or the PBS series, the Draw Squad. Remember that? <coughs> While we're back, we're back again, live. A little older, a little wiser. And still loving the power of pencil drawing, pencil power possibilities. Okay, now, if you want to keep track of when I'm going to be webcasting live, because it, this month it'll be every morning at 10 o'clock, and I'll try to do a few more, like 10, 20, 10, 40. 
tonight I'm definitely going to go live again at 7 p.m. at night. Um, but if you want to get an up-to-date uh, um, note from me, friend me on Facebook. Okay, Look for the three birds behind my little picture. My little picture's down here. There's a thousand Mark Kisslers on Facebook. I keep track uh, and I keep in contact with all my students over Facebook. So with your family's permission, uh, go ahead. Friend me on Facebook. Send me a friend request. I'd be happy to to uh, friend you. And that way you keep track. Also, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's post your drawings. Okay, please, please post your drawings. Please post your drawings on Facebook once you friend me so that it pops up on my page so the world can see your beautiful fishy drawings. Hey, guys, thank you for drawing with me. Here, let me, uh, here, I want to put you my my happy face up here on the camera so you can, here, let me move it over here. This is so cool. Okay, oh, there we go. And here, there we go. Hi. Hey, you did really good today. I want to see your drawing, so mail them to me, self address stamped envelope, and post your drawing to, uh, to Facebook. Make sure you tag me, Mark Kisses, so it pops on, okay? Thank you so much for drawing with me, Draw. Every day, one drawing a day for 30 days. Yeah. Hey, guys, you did great. Thank you for drawing with me. I'll see you on the next drawing lesson. Bye, everybody.